Welding is a beautiful process of joining metals, such as steel and aluminum, together with electricity. Using welding, we have built the structures of our society. It's important to use caution though, as there are many dangers to welding, one of which are welding fumes. Welding fumes can contain a whole host of metal oxides such as aluminum, cadmium, cobalt, chromium, copper, iron, manganese, magnesium, molybdenum, nickel, silica, lead, titanium, and zinc, as well as toxic gases such as carbon monoxide, carbon dioxide, and ozone. Breathing all this crap can cause numerous lung diseases such as metal fume fever, pneumocytosis, pulmonary function abnormalities, infectious pneumonia, cystic fibrosis, asthma, chronic bronchitis, COPD or chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, and lung cancer. It's unfortunate that most welders have been negligent and have inhaled these toxins over the years. I know I have. <coughs> Lung tissue. We all have two lungs. Their main purpose is to get the oxygen from the atmosphere and it goes into the left and right lobes where it gets absorbed into the blood. At the same time, the waste from the blood get exchanged in the alveoli and it gets exhaled as carbon dioxide and other waste back into the atmosphere. There are more functions to the lungs and I can tell you, but it's best to read a book. I use an Optrel crystal because the clarity on this hood is so amazing. I also use a 3M respirator to protect my lungs from the welding fumes. The problem is when you use both together it's not the ideal setup as the respirator pushes up on the welding hood and it's crooked and you can't see straight and it's not the best way to do it. Optrel does make its own PAPR respiratory system. The problem is my helmet is missing this portion vent here on the top. Also it's priced at 1500 bucks, quite expensive. There are alternatives. One company called Axis Air Group makes a Hobby Air 2. It's priced at $509, not too bad. We actually got it in yesterday. We're gonna open it for you guys to see what's inside. So here are the contents of the Hobby Air 2. I opted for the half face mask so it'll fit under my Optrel hood while I'm welding. This thing is pretty nice. It's made in USA and it also comes with 80 feet of, uh, these are two 40 foot spools, 80 feet of commercial grade, uh, food grade, uh, air hose which are made in Japan. Uh, very uh, happy about that. So we'll put it together and show you how it works. So this thing's great. You just hook it up one of the ends of the hoses to the hobby air. The other one goes to the fa your face mask and then the idea is to put this thing outside of your shop into fresh air. That's why they give you such a long hose. This is 40 feet. They send you with 80 so this is plenty uh, for our purposes but you stick this unit outside and it, it pumps fresh air into your face mask and I tried it with the uh, Optrel helmet and it fits, fits perfectly now I can weld uh, in relative uh, good fresh air it's much safer for my lungs the kit comes with a flow meter to gauge how fast the knob should be turned I put it on the lowest setting for the half face mask also, this is the sound of the air pump, um, just like a normal vacuum cleaner, noise level. The Hobby Air 2 is a great alternative for a fresh air system. At around $255 per lung, not a bad deal. Fortunately for you old timers who have been welding for years, you guys are fucked. But for the younger generation, the virgin lungs, at least they have a fresh start. Believe me guys, welding fumes are no joke. I printed out some white papers and did my research. This is a good article and uh, I'll link this 
uh, on the description below. Also read some pathophysiology books on the topic. And uh, like I said before, a clean air respiratory system is uh, essential before you do any welding. Like I said in the beginning, we only have two lungs. Alright guys, that's it from us, Morales Productions. Catch you guys later. Croissant and strawberry preserves anybody?